All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. Today is Wednesday. That means that we are playing our Mecha Family Speedway kind of combination deck, Transmodified, and Terra Tops. You already know it's, it. It works out really well. Like, Speedroids speed are good. Mecha Fembies are kind of, but when you're able to actually have synergy that they're both wind and work it out like that, then it's actually not terrible. It really isn't. Uh, I guess I'll go first. I think this deck generally has to go first, especially if I can get, like, wings off. It's actually pretty decent. Uh, didn't get wings, but... <laughs> so... Uh, well, I guess I can, I can bust out a crystal meth. Definitely can do that. Might be best if I ran more than one try I dice, though. Because you could summon you. I'm trying to figure this out, but I don't think I can do it properly. Because, yeah, I, need, I think I may need to run another red eye dice for this play. Summon you, then get you. But what does, I mean, really, what does that do? Because I draw these Takatan boards. Get special summon Takatan board, but in Takatan board, I guess contribute all. Yeah, I don't think I can bust out Crystal Meth right now. I could potentially summon regular one, but because I don't, if I had another, if I had another red eye dice, I could do it. But I can put another one in here. So I'll remember to myself, put two red eye dice in here. All right. So we're going to start us whatever warrior. Then he'll draw me a card. So that's that's great. Maybe I can draw into my wings. No, I'm drawing to Mecha Phantom Beast Tether Wolf. Because no someone's supposed to summon Mecha Phantom Beast token. Okay. It's not terrible. Seriously so sitting here trying to think I uh, what plays I can pull off and I'm just not seeing anything that's too extravagant, like I guess I could go into this guy and have my Mecha Phantom Beast plays. I, mean, I guess it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Oh, fuck it. We'll do it. It's not very often that we do Mecha Phantom Beast plays. It's more Speedroid plays, so it's kind of like, eh, you know? It's kind of like, this is more of a Mecha Phantom Beast deck, but you're doing more Speedroid plays, so fine. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do more uh, Mecha Phantom Beast plays. Uh, so we can go ahead and banish you, summon you, and then you can go ahead and sink into this guy. And if I get fucked over, I mean, I get fucked over, fuck it, you know? You can't say I didn't do something. I guess I can go into Draco Sack. Yeah, I can go into Draco Sack, but, I mean, even he's not that great. But then, you know, that your boss wants here is not too hot. It's kind of just, yeah, so. Uh, I guess we're done. I guess we're done here. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about part two of our October Las Vegas Regionals uh, tournament report. Uh, that was a mouthful. Uh, so we're up to round five, so we're going to do five, six, seven, and eight, and see the downfall of me trying to get my invite. Ah, ah, see, and the perfect, the perfect answer to my Mecha Phantom Beast plays is Senju's, because, you know, it's like, oh, I can't be, you know, destroyed by card effects and stuff like that, but I can still be targeted and bounced, and that's, that's fantastic. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like he has another Senju, so, I don't know, card advice? No, not even card my so I guess you're just gonna return back to the hand. Like sure, I guess. <laughs> so what do you do? Oh, you're the one that boosts up by the eight hundred. And then you don't do anything. My token doesn't do anything. Like so many of these things just don't do anything. And I think I'm out of targets with the Taka Tomborg, surprisingly, so that's not awesome. I could trish him. You know, I can normal summon this, special summon this, don't use this effect, and then use the token this and this to uh, potentially fuck you up. I guess I can bait with Draco Sack. Yeah, I can XC these two in a Draco Sack and then try to pop one of his cards, his set cards, and then he'll probably be like, nah, nah, because it's fucking Draco Sack, you know. But I can't be destroyed by card effects, so that's decent. Um, so, go ahead and activate Draco Sack, so I'm going to make two tokens. And I'll tribute off one of the tokens, and then I'll sync with one of the tokens, so we should be okay. We should be okay. Uh, so round five, I go up against the dreaded, the terrible, the definitely needs to get hit, Dark Sync Round. So I went dice I'll go first, but uh, I didn't open up too fantastically. Like, I opened up with one of my Magispectors, uh, the Moon Mirror Shield, uh, 
a lot of my trap cards for magic specters, but I didn't have a lot of magic specter monsters to go with it. So when I'm working on deck and going with you know the 2.0 variant, I'm not sure if I'm gonna run that many. I mean, they're gonna increase the amount of uh, magic specter monsters, which I've been working on. I mean, they're gonna with with less trap cards of the magic specter variant and more generic trap cards, and uh, run the card of variant again, or I'm going to go. Uh, like I said I guess I'll randomly pop a card, even though. He could potentially, I mean, he has three set cards. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Now you flip up lose one turn? Like, okay, now you flip up lose one turn. So I guess there's really no point in nutrition right now because he has lose one turn. Uh, no, I don't really have anything. Because lose one turn would just be like, nah. Yeah. I can handle, I can handle the lose one turn next turn. He's gonna get another search with his uh, training grounds, though. But this one turns, of course, you already know that that, that shit definitely slows down the duel of Zyre Watt. Oh, that kind of sucks. Kind of wanted that Solemn Strike. That Solemn Strike would have been very useful, especially if he gets the spinny one. Because now I've really, on me, I don't have anything to handle. This one turns if he handles my Draco Sack, so. I wouldn't be surprised if he just goes summon, summon. Right, well, there goes my tokens. It definitely goes my tokens. You got another Yusenju? Yep, 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 wow, wow. See? 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 <laughs> he just got it. He just got the, the last Yusenju, because I already knew he had this in He probably had the Dark Hole in his hand. I wouldn't be surprised about that, so. Well, I lose everything. Well, because this guy got lucky and got everything that he needed to handle the situation. At least, at least it'd been nice if I could at least kept my tokens. Like, he had the Dark Hole too? Like, fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Unless I draw Twin Twisters, I'm fucked. You know, because the lose one turn will slow me so, so slow me down so much I can't really do anything. You know, so well, wow, you got lucky, you got lucky. Uh, drew, drew into, drew into the, drew into the Yusenju you needed. Yusenju you needed. Definitely, definitely lucky. <sighs> Shit, and and then you had the twin twist. I mean, you had the MST for my strike because no way I would have let the fucking karma do it. But you had MST for my strike. Like, all right. All right, so you got negate your effect, turn effect, and then you, then you, oh my god, that was dumb. That was dumb. You had it. You had it. Why did you go into fucking tiger? Like your effects are negated. You were, I mean, maybe you would have been eventually able to do something, but I might have been able to kill him. No, because I would have been in defense too. I don't know. You just scooped it up. That, that was a dumb duel. You got lucky and you still fucking ate a fat dick. Be right back. So he ended up. Uh, I was like, I was like, wait for something to threaten me, wait for something to threaten me. Like, I didn't even get my solemn strike or anything like that. Uh, I guess, I mean, oh, let me try a second. Let me try a second. Watch, watch me open up with my trap card. Yep, I was, I knew it. I was gonna open up my chasing wing. I was like, I was like, yeah. Uh, I didn't took the deck yet. I didn't put another red eye die because getting one red eye die is not the greatest. Sounds not terrible. I could summon. I, I can bust out a crystal mask, can I? No, no, no. Okay. Wow. Wow. You go first, you do nothing, which allows me to get an additional draw off of you doing nothing. I, I can I can go with that. So, uh, I can summon a lion, then I can summon Takatom Borg, Tribute I'll summon my Duke, or return, or return. Like, you know, we got, we got plays. I think I want to go for charge. Okay, special summon you, then return to you, go for charge, draw a card. Because if I tribute off for you, the only thing you can summon is Duke. It's in Duke, and they're both, they would both be tuners. Or I could just not do my allied Birdman, whatever, right now. Oh, I can get a token, but I don't think a token would do anything. I don't think so. You know, fuck it, I mean... I got plays for days. It, it really doesn't matter. We'll just we'll just we'll just experiment. We'll just experiment. I still need to learn the all of the combos that can just that can just so many combos that it's really difficult to learn every single little thing you can do. You know, if anything, just leaving off with our mateys. Oh, they're both tuners. I didn't know they were both tuners. I forgot a lion was a tuner. I really did. Why did I forget that? Kinda just thought that he was just a monster. Oops. Oh, well, I, don't, I don't really care. <laughs> I really don't care. Just kind of forgot he was a tuner. Like, 
I must have seen this with him a couple of times, but well, it didn't occur to me that he was a tuner. I was going to sink eight and make sink five and nine babies. Instead, I get nothing because I just summoned a tuner with a tuner. I kind of went the deck thin and actually get used out of Takato on board and end up fucking it up. Oh well. Oh well. If I lose, I lose. I don't really care. So he ended up getting a trash. I hit him with my Tempest, trading my monster, and then he still had plays because his Dark Synchro went off, 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 you know, and rip. Uh, game two, I didn't open up too hot. Wow, wow. So one day, he really doesn't have anything. Like, I'm kind of curious about what he's doing. Because I, I didn't do shit. And you, first you do nothing, then you play one day, like, okay, one for one. Oh, it's a synchro deck. Okay. I don't like one, I don't like one day. I really don't. Never let your opponent draw. You even out, but you let your opponent plus. You know, it's like, okay. You know, I've seen it, I've seen it when people a couple of duels are just, nah, I don't like it, this card. Uh, so, speaking of Dark Synchro, or Synchroing, you already know, that formula multiple times and all that. Game 2, I did open up too hot. Uh, he ended up being able to just poke me with, like, Dark Graffers and shit, so. Goes and grace, but I ended up coming back into the duel, like, seeing him, like, Brick Sword and breaking out and then locking him down. So I ended up taking Game uh, 2. And Game 3, you already know, he went first. Uh, he... Omega'd me twice and Trish me twice because he ran Dark Synchro and then picked every single card out of my hand. So, GG. You know, GG, right? So, uh, I lose now. I am X2 and 1. So, I'm right on the bubble. I pretty much have to win my last three games to get my invite. I have to win. Uh, so, while I'm X2 and 1, one of my other friends, uh, one of my good friends who also is in our group, uh, it's also X2 and 1, so I'm joking around like, watch us duel each other next round. You know, watch us duel each other. We duel each other next round. So, uh, he's playing Metal Foes Ignites. I'm like, what is that? What What is this? Like, ugh, ugh, you know? But he wanted to play it. Like, okay, sure. Uh, I 2 him. I, I, you know, I lock him out of the duels. Uh, game 2, I'm pretty much just like multiple Tempests, you know? So, he, he pretty much gets, gets, gets wrecked. You know, he, he gets destroyed. Um, I mean, does it really matter? Because he could just kill the token anyway. But, I mean, free token. Fuck it. So these guys go up by 1,000 attack and defense for every Earth Warrior type synchro monster you control. So they're all going to go up by up to 3,000? Oh, I guess not. Twin Twister's kind of useless. I don't think that he's going to be doing any synchro plays anytime soon. <sighs> Once per turn, if all warrior... Oh, if all monsters you control are Earth Warrior type monsters, which they're not, because <laughs> this is a m machine fire. So pretty much, if I can... I'm trying to think. I can summon dump Double Yo-Yo. I guess Double Yo-Yo can summon Taka Tomboys, and I can get the additional normal summon of a lion. Synchro summon and start as Charge Warrior, he could fuck up all three of these guys. Yeah, with ease. With ease. Yeah, that's not a terrible play. Yeah. So you can go ahead and summon Taka Tomboard back. Could also go into Crystal Myth. No, I can't. No, I can't. So I'm going to go ahead and activate a lion to give me the additional mobile summon of a lion. And then just go into Starter's Charge Warrior and attack over all of these guys because they are not, uh... Because you don't control one's patrol if you all much you control are Earth Warriors, but they're not. They are not, so... That's awesome. So, Starter's Charge Warrior, here we come. I guess I can go you and you. And then sink into Crystal Math in main phase, too. Yep, that works. If they get my attack on. Yep. So, you might be fucked. <laughs> You might be fucked. And if I fuck up and attack the jets first, that would be terrible, because then you'd actually get your effects, but... Oh. Or am I fucking up? When this card is talking about attack, you can have... Oh, no. That just allows you to summon multiple monsters. I misread. I misread. Alright, oh, that sucks. Oh, I guess I'll just save with Chasing Wings. God damn it. That was, that was my bad. That was my bad. Yep, he'll go up to 3,000. I thought he- I thought his effect can only activate if he had the multiple, but nope. 
No, but just period. When this card is targeted for an attack, period, you can have this card gain a thousand attack range for each on the field. Okay. That sucks. I misread that. I thought I, I thought this was all one big effect that he can only activate the effect of Daniel misplaying multiple times because he's a fucking scrub. That sucks. That sucks. So I guess I'll attack him and he'll get banished because I believe he uses the effect. And if not, then I'm fucking up again and then he'll get a search. Yeah, he used the effect. At least I was paying attention to that. So definitely should have went into like Armades. <laughs> Definitely. Or maybe this would have been the correct choice, Daniel. Yep. I don't believe I have any other Sync Sixes. Ah, I can go into Scar Right. You don't take any damage, but I guess it's better than nothing. It's better than fucking leaving it alone because Daniel fucked up. Yeah, we'll go into Scar Right. Good job, Daniel. Yeah, give me a token. <laughs> so. Okay, he, he, he wanted to scoot. Oh, I feel good. I fucked up, and I'm still okay. Oof. <laughs> Thank God I put that scar right in there. I was like, just in case I ever sink eight, and I need it. Yep, put that scar right in there. Alright. Uh, of course, I'll get another duel. I right, talk about round six. Like I said, I, I two ulted well my friend real, real easy. Game two, I pretty much just kept on tempesting him. He's like, Pendulum Summon Tempest, Pendulum Summon Tempest, Pendulum Summon Tempest. Uh, game one was really interesting because he, like, fused into his Metal Fields guy. Then he would, you know, use the Pendulum Effect, pop his fusion guy, pop my, you know, my, uh, my, uh, Moon Mirror Shield, you know. But it wasn't enough. I ended up just out resourcing him, out playing him, stunning him, and just, you know. So I two him. <laughs> Alright, and then we'll come back. Probably one more duel I'll talk about this game. Uh, round 7 and 8. So, be right back. Alright, we're back. Another duel. Like I said, I just went ahead and put in another uh, red eye. Because it just seems like at times that might be useful. Alright, this opening head's not terrible. If I can bust out a Synchro Monster, that might be okay. Uh, I'm trying to think. I could possibly bust out a... Uh, like a Crystal Mask. I mean, not Christmas, a clear wing. Yeah. I can summon him, then he can go ahead, special summon Takatom Board, Tribute Off, and, uh, yeah, potentially go into a clear wing. That wouldn't be terrible. Takatom Board's so useful in this deck. <laughs> like, this has synergy with, like, both of them, so. Yeah, I'll summon Duke. Because I, I, I can do that, or I could go to Mates, but I think I'd rather just go for my boss monster right now. Clearing. Oh, one of my boss monsters. Alright, so yay, Clearing is on the field. And then next turn, I can bust out a Crystal Mask, if the Clearing is on the field still. I mean, it might be with Chasing, but I'd rather not use my Chasing on the Clearing and actually, you know, save it for my Crystal Mask. But, I mean, if he's threatening me, then I guess I could do it. No, or, or that, or that, <laughs> or that. He's probably playing Water. No? What is, what the fuck did he just trade in? That shit didn't even have art. Oh, oh, Spirit, Spirits, alright. I was like, this shit didn't even have a card. Uh, yeah, I can still bust out a Crystal Mask. It's just, now I know he's running fucking Yusenju. So, Yusenju is just, f I mean, f I mean, Yusenju is fucking, uh, Kaiju just fuck up, fuck up my Synchro Monsters. Like, it doesn't even fucking matter, because he's going to return the fucking, uh, cut the Gamma Seal back to his hand, which means that even if I do a Synchro play, it's going to return back to his hand. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty much fucked. I'm pretty, I'm pretty much fucked. Like, I might as well just scoop it up, you know? I might as well just scoop it up. Bear right back. Whew, that, that was that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> That's the last thing that I want to happen is him just being able to just kaiju over my shit, return the kaiju, kaiju over my shit, return the kaiju, kaiju over my shit. And I take resources. I neg when I synchro summon. And for you to just be able to out every thing, single synchro amount that I got with a kaiju, like unless I had like vanity's emptiness, I'd probably be fucked. You know? I'd have to literally have to have vanity's emptiness to counter that. Oh no, oh no. The deck that I was totally talking about, you know? The deck I was totally talking about. I'm fucked, I'm fucked. I'm gonna just scoop it up right now, like, yeah. Uh, I wanna get at least a decent duel for the last game. Be right back. Like, I'm not earning the strongest deck right now, but seriously, like, I at least want, like, a chance. I don't know, I feel, I'm feeling lucky. I feel like I should go first this time. Yeah, I was like, I, was like, I kind of felt the wings, even though I really can't do the wings, because I kind of need to talk a Tom board. Like, Oh, never mind, never mind. My opponent's just gonna leave. Alright, so. Alright, you get to choose. Like I said, I don't really care. <laughs> Alright, this opening hand's not 
terrible. It's not terrible. <laughs> I've seen a lot worse. Oh, oh, alright. Well, this should be fun. Never really dueled this deck. I've never played with the deck, I know that. I don't see it too often being played, but I don't know. Maybe it would be interesting. So, round seven, I go against PK Fire. Uh, okay. I get game one, and then in game two, we go into time, but he has higher life point. So, I'm like, we're about to draw, you know? And remember, I'm X2 and 1. So, I'm telling my opponent, I'm like, dude, like, if we both go X2 and 1, like, if we get this draw right now, we'll both go X2 and 2. There's no way any of us are getting our invite off at X2 and 2. So, I was like, you know, you want to give me the draw? And as soon as I said that, I kind of, like, whispered it to him. The judge came over, and he's like, is there a problem here? He's like, no, 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 no. No, no, we're just playing in time. So, by turn... Uh, turn five of time, I didn't get his life points down low enough. And like I said, you'll 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 see a pattern between me talking about it in, in parts one and two. I didn't get I didn't do enough damage. I didn't have enough monsters, so we're definitely going to be trying to tweak that. I said we're either going to go with the card of the variant for next time, or we're going to be going with the ties of the brother and variant. You know, either or it just seems like appropriate. You know, strong. <laughs> it's not the greatest hand to open up with right now. I'm trying I'm trying to see if there's. Uh, a really great play that I could pull off potentially, because I already know I'm about to get it. Yeah. Some, some of my cards to the bottom. Okay. <laughs> yep. You already know this deck loves to match summon. Drop the maxi on this guy and <laughs> take that maxi challenge. I don't think he could deck me out. I think I'd just get resources. So, you actually gonna like synchro summon or anything like that? Yeah, all of that. You happen to your big 5,000 guy. All right, so is there anything that I could do here? Anything that I could do here? Uh, once turned during the player's turn, it kind of activates a spell or trap card. You can negate the activation if you do. Destroy it. Uh, blah blah. Uh, can I like summon this special summon this transmodify into one level higher and then go into like lightning Chidori and then spin him? I think that's like the only thing I can do. You're under an inner place trying to pull out the spell or trap. Ooh, he can negate my transmodify. If he negates my transmodify, then rip, you know. If you do, card in the blah blah blah. Negate the battle, and I believe this card secret summon card is all about oh, the secret summon card. No, just leave the field. My opponent's card effect. You can special summon one from your extra deck. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm in deep shit. <laughs> I think I am in deep shit. I could black or no, I can't black cross him if I use that effect. Ah, uh, this is difficult. And clearly you don't you don't do anything. And then are you the one that's normal summon? I get a token? This card is normal summon, special summon like a fan of these token. I can normal summon. Normal summon special summon the token, which means that I'll go up to level seven. Special summon the Takatom board, Takatom board tribute off. Summon me a. I'm not saying anything. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> and then even if I do like bait him with my plays. Even if I like bait him with my plays, he would still have outs, so. Uh this is not great. This is not great at all. He'll still get a synchro monster, and that in itself makes things a lot worse. No point in summoning you. Guess I can go sync eight into Scar right, I guess. That might be the best play. That might be the best play. I'll try. Oh, I can only summon wind monsters for the rest of the turn. Kind of forgot about that. Kind of forgot about that. Fuck like it. I'm, I'm literally just doing plays for a second. Doing plays. Go ahead and negate that. I scoop. Wait. I scoop. I scoop. I scoop. <laughs> uh, I was like, I was like, can I go into Scar Right? Like, no, because I can only summon wind monsters for the rest of the turn. <laughs> There's a nice wind synchro monster I could have went into. I was eight. Not. There's really nothing I can handle. I like with Stardust. Like, no. Like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. This deck, this deck is just kind of weak. It's, it really is. Like, like, 
just the mecha phantom beasts are slow and that's weird. like if any deck is really some remotely fast it can pull off a really strong play i don't have too much of anything so i don't know and i keep drawing this guy when he's like completely useless turn one you know when i have like nothing in the graveyard like he's way better later in the game but early in the game he's just kind of like eh, i'm here I'm like oh okay i guess uh he negated the transmodify, I didn't have anything anyway. I might as well like a Regeki or something, just throw at him, but he would still get his uh, Synchro Monster, that 3000 guy, and I still have nothing, so. Uh, so, I was like, if we both get, if we get a draw right now, we'll both be X2 and 2, there's no way neither of us can top, so. Uh, went to turn 5, he had more life points than me. I'm just packing up my shit, he takes a slip, he marks me as the winner, and he's like, you better win the next round. So, Miracle, he gave me the win. I said, because there's really no point. If we both get a draw, then we're both out. Well, at least if I get to move on, at least someone can get uh, potentially get their invite. So, round eight, I go against Water Dim. And I say Water is my worst matchup. I already pointed that out. I said Water is my worst matchup. I go against Water again. I'd say it's Sparkling Water. It throws in, like, the Brilliant Fusion and the Garnets and all that shit. Uh, game one, I get him. Game two, he just pretty much has, like, everything. Like, he has the Twin Twisters, the Gumma Seal, the everything to out me, you know. Uh, I tried to hold off, but I ended up like, just end up losing uh, out on resources uh and game three uh he pretty much we go into time he gets my life points lower and he ends up winning it so uh i i flopped again i flopped again i think i ended up getting like 49th out of like 150 something so eh but if i just would have won that last duel but water i, I knew it i knew it like even before going here i was like man my water matchup is not that great you know i was like i thought i'd be okay if i could just stun but it's just they naturally have all the outs and everything they naturally play the twin just the dark holes the regeki the gamma seal which is just a whole bunch of things that could just out me you know so you know the the Neptibus can send the marksman or the infantry to pop a set or face up just bad just bad you know so it's like all right i can i can summon a fucking uh a, uh, a barrier statue, Koopa Moon Mirror Shoot, can't tackle over me, haha. -ha. But you could just be like, okay, summon Neptibus, Neptibus, you know, send, uh, you know, infantry, and infantry, or one of the two. Marksman infantry, that everyone pops face up, pop your barrier statue, you know. Ha, I'm first from special summoning, special summoning, go multiple dragoons, OTK, you know, so it's, it's just bad. It's just bad. I'm hoping that maybe water will disappear a little bit and we'll see more APCs and new talks, you know. I, I, it, you know, I, I thought there was going to be a lot more water. Water is a really strong deck. You know, it's a deck that's strong, but it never gets hit. You know, it's just like, why is Dragoon's at two? Why is Dragoon's not once per turn? So, I don't even care about Nectibus. Like, never the best, you don't need to hit Nectibus. You hit Nectibus, you probably kill the deck. But multiple Dragoon's, like, why is Dragoon's at two? Like, Dragoon's went up to two and then just sat there for, like, no reason. You know? It's like it did an OCG, we kind of copy off of it, and then Dragoons had to move sense when Dragoons and multiples is dumb. It's just the fact you can go nuts to base center Dragoons to add a Dragoons is dumb. But hey, what you gonna do, right? So, I uh, flopped again. Like I said, I, I, once again, always eating a fat dick at the last second, can't get his fucking invite. Shit pisses me off, but uh, I'll try once again in Utah. Like I said, ABCs will be out then, and I think my matchup against ABCs is a little bit better than water because i don't think they will they're gonna main deck the outs because they're gonna be so busy with their own combos you know i don't think they're gonna main deck the regeki that are cold and you know they're not gonna have a natural just oh normal summon send to pop a face up or set card like neftibus and the, the other atlantean monsters so it'll be a little bit easier uh the only problem is if they go first and they drop that abc you know i can go you know summon a magic specter equipped with like a moon mirror shield or whatever and i can attack and you'll just be like all right with tactic aggression, pitch card, pop your moon shield, run right into me, you know, so you're dead. So I think I'd have to take it a little bit slower. I think I'd have to be like, okay, so I'm gonna magic specter, you know, get like a tempest. Tempest would be great. Like tornado's gonna go down and tempest is gonna go up because even if I, you know, tornado you, you could just split, you know. So that does nothing. Well, tempest, I, you know, you activate your fact tempest, you know, get wrecked. So, uh, or if you go ahead and you know contact fuse, tempest. Yeah, uh, song strike is good. Uh, warning is great, you know, but then, you know, like the, like, if you're, if your trap card is spell speed three, then of course you're great, you know, because ABC, you can't chain that, but if you're spell speed two, I can't say that, uh, that you're that great anymore, because ABC can split apart, like, I loved Quaking Mirror Force during the weekend, uh, during this past regionals, but with ABC coming out, Quaking, like, I attack with my ABC, Quaking, split up, all my monsters in defense mode, you know, so, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to be Quaking anymore, 
uh, like I said, it's either gonna be the Carter Myers variant or the Tides of Brand variant. I'm thinking laying more Tides of Tides of Brand variant because it allows me to get into my cards faster. You know, it's like if I, I gotta play fucking shitty ass Yada. That's what I don't like. And Yada really can only get me a, uh, the spell cards. And the spell cards are just, they're only spell speed. I mean, there's, it's not spell speed three. It's not like I have a fucking card that's like, oh, well, you know fuck you up, like, I guess I can run Sonic, like, Sonic would be able to do something, but even doubling my Magic Spectre's attack would, wouldn't get you strong enough to save me from ABC, but that's not great. Uh, you know, the Quick Play spell card, your spell speed 2, so hop out of the way. My normal spell card, your spell speed 2, hop out of the way, just chain. Uh, so that is, that's not great, but if I can go summon Yada, try to bring in some of me Toad, some of me Fox, get me two trap cards, you know, get me, like, two Tempests or whatever, then I can be potentially able to, uh, handle uh, the ABC Buster Dragon in a higher consistency, so I'm thinking Ling Tart's ties, but I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, especially since I'll probably be cutting a lot of back row, because it's kind of like, yes, the strikes, yes, the warning, yes, the vanity, yes, the tempests, but, you know, it's like, tornado, eh, you know? So, uh, I don't know, I could possibly up my, my, uh, counter trap with different counter trap, like, I don't know, maybe put, like, uh, Chaos Trap hold back in the deck. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I'd have to figure it out. Got plenty of time. Like, it's not until November. So I got like pretty much a month. But uh, there you go. That's my tournament report. So ended up losing to Water and to Dark Synchro and tying with Light Swans. Other than that, uh, other than that yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Day of the Duels. Like I said, uh, this is like what, 985? We only got 14 more episodes. 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, no, no, 15, and then the Grand 1000, which will probably be a live stream, it'll probably be a live stream uh, that Wednesday, we got 15 more episodes to go, like I said, Daily Duels is wrapping up, so, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode, thanks for watching, thanks for support, and I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow, we're going to be tagging, playing with uh, Gaia, alright, thanks for watching.